previously on GT. Kim, what are you playing at? Nothing. I thought you'd like your present. Don't you dare say anything. Bye then. What do you want now? Don't worry, I'm not stalking you. I'm just wondering if you've got any painkillers. Your excuses are getting weaker by the minute. I'm on the bench for the city game. I don't belong here. Of course you do. You deserve to be here more than anyone. Manchester's still struggling to find their best rhythm in this opening half, but this is better. It's Cheeseman, has he got a shot on here? The angle tight, and he's going to need support now from Gavin Moody. What can the Harchester striker do here? Trying to work an opening, it's Gavin Moody! And it's high and wide of Nicky Weaver's goal. And it's been that sort of opening 45 minutes for both sides, really. Sinclair, and now Joey Bott. Stephen Ireland makes a good run forward here for Manchester City. Dangerous ball in. Excellent defending from the skipper, Danny Sullivan. Leading by example again. There's anxiety on the face there of manager Jimmy Craig as we approach half-time. And indeed, there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil. Well, Andy and myself are back here at Upton Park where we're waiting to see West Ham play Portsmouth a little later, but uh, the Dragons lair, Andy, goalless at half-time. Um, would would Harches to be a little flattered by that? Hugely. I think Manchester City, without doubt, have been the best side. Stuart Pearce will be really disappointed they're not ahead by half-time. You know, without Mackay in the centre midfield, Richard, Harchester just haven't been at the races. They've been totally devoid of ideas. Would you expect Jimmy Craig to make a change or two? I'll tell you one change I'd like to see. I'd like to see the young lad Porter brought on wide left. I'd really like to see if he could get at Mika Richards. Second off. You want Bennett? Yes, Scaffold. You get into him, alright? Keep the concentration up, Summers. Keep stretching. It might come in handy. Right, let's! We didn't play well the first half. But it's still nil-nil. Think what we're gonna do in the second half when we turn it on. When we start performing. Alright, let's gather round. Come on, let's gather around. Oi, get you in up there. Come on, my man. Come on, you in there. Trust each other. We're gonna win this game. Yeah. We're gonna win this game. Yes. yes. Why well, let's go out and win it then. Harchester still unbeaten as we reach Boxing Day and who knows, could be top of the Premiership had they not drawn so many. Dean Bennett on for the second half, up front for Darren Tyson. Still no call for Jason Porter, who it has to be said, looks nervous and fidgety on that bench. Samaras with a header forward, and away by Simon Becky. Now Joey Barton, and that's aimless from the Manchester City midfielder. Becky looking here for Gavin Moody for control though from Moody gifts Manchester City possession and that's a good looking ball now for Sinclair gets in front of Damien Evans and forces a save out of Omer Gavin, do you want to watch the second half for me? Oh, 
Simon Becky. Manchester hasn't had much of the ball in the last few minutes. He headed down, Duke's ball forward. This is more promising for Harchester. Manchester City can't get it away, it's Danny Sullivan, surrounded by yellow shirts, and Dean Bennett with the shot. And that's his first introduction, really, to the play since he came on at half-time. Danny Sullivan has been everywhere. Bringing someone on. Is it Chase? Can't tell. Summers. Need some width. We need to stretch him. Get on there and get some crosses in, alright? Hello? We need to get the gap out of the hospital now. It's bad. Look, it's Gemma and it's bad. Okay. Danny Sullivan, who's lining up the Harchester free kick. Lucky Weaver, just making sure he has his wall correctly positioned. As far as Manchester City are concerned now, can Sullivan give Harchester the lead? Oh, good effort! And it missed by a whisker. Can you get to me? His daughter's just been rushed to hospital. What? You need to go. Take over. Where is she this way? Do me before we get in there. It's not good, okay? How is she? We're going to have to operate. She slipped into a coma. Why? Well, there's been some bleeding which has caused a buildup of blood between her brain and the skull. We need to make a small hole in the side of her head to relieve the pressure. Hmm. You sent her home. I'm sorry, there's really no way of knowing that this would happen. You said to me she was going to be fine. Please, this isn't going to help your daughter. If anything happens to me, let's do it. Let's get off me. <clears throat> what are you about to do? Will it make my little get away? We'll know more after the operation. Sorry. Thank you. Manchester not suggesting they're ready to break down this Manchester City defence at the moment. Oh, and Gavin Moody was expecting Bradley Summers to get up in support of him there. The two Manchester players certainly weren't on the same wavelength. Come on, you all. Get back here! What's he doing? Where's he going? The decision fell on Steve Kramer to bring on Duran Thomas to the obvious disappointment of Jason Porter. No Premiership debut yet. And Harchester come forward now with Danny Sullivan. Can he find a shot? Oh, yes, he can. 
the best player on the pitch by some distance. The shining light in an otherwise dull performance. Huge relief around the Dragon's Lair. A late winning goal from the captain, Danny Sullivan. And Harches United break the hearts of Manchester City and go third in the Premiership. Hey, what the hell's the matter with you? Okay, you don't walk away no matter what. And how about showing your teammates some respect? Sorry. Look, I don't care how guard you are about not coming on or what you think about the gaffer. Just stay till the end. Yeah, how hard is that? It was nil-nil when you went. Do you not care at all, eh? Yeah. Wait, hey, the gaffer's daughter's in hospital and I'm answering questions in a post-match interview about you. Some arrogant reserve player. Hey, get up! Come here! Hey boys, never mind that, get your heads up, it's a good thing! Come on! Hey, 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 I didn't realise you were here. Sally, well done, mate. Mm. You were fantastic out there. Kim, what are you doing here? I just thought I'd come and show my support. Don't worry, the kids are being looked after. Listen, Dave, I've got to go and make sure the interviews are done. I'll catch up with you later, yeah? Yeah. See ya. Bye. What are you playing at? What are you really doing here? Like I said, I came to show my support. What's the matter, Danny? Nothing. You should... Look, what were you two talking about? Nothing for you to get worried about. Honestly. God, where is she? In theatre. They're uh, operating on her head. She's got internal bleeding. I don't understand. I mean, she was fine when I left her. What the hell happened in the meantime? I don't know. I was at the Grange with the team. What? You left our sick daughter on her own? Rachel, she was fine. If you hadn't have gone to London, Gemma would have never have been left on her own. God knows what would have happened if Liam hadn't have found her. Mate, got some coffees here. God, Jimmy. She's gonna be okay, isn't she? Surprise. Well, I thought you deserved a treat. Do you fancy a drink for you? Yeah, why not? Can I have a uh, bottle of fine champagne, please? Brilliant. I'm just going to pop to the mood, babe. Danny. Great game today. Very impressive. Thank you very much. I well, don't understand why you're not playing regularly. <laughs> Only Jimmy Craig can answer that one, mate. I'll tell you, he's a big fan of yours, Chris Coleman. Oh, yeah? You're just what Fulham need. Especially with them not being able to replace Bullard till now. Fancy it? <laughs> Chris is a top manager, but uh, no, I'm not interested. You sure? I think it'd be a good move for you. I appreciate what you're trying to do, Tom, but uh, it's a no, mate. I was at this club before Jimmy Craig arrived, and I'll be here when he's gone. Fair enough. I've got to say, I admire you, Danny. Any man who lives with his mistress so close to his wife and kids well, he's a braver man than me. There you are. 
I've been calling. What happened, baby? I've seen this one. It's a bit slow. They're saying things down the pub. They're having a pop. People saying you think you're bigger than your club. Saying you only care about yourself. I told them you just probably needed the loo. Why did you go, Jason? I mean, you had a reason for walking, didn't you? Do you even know what the score was? Do you know? Will you all just get off my back? I couldn't give a toss what the score was. He's getting too big for his boots. <sighs> we have one more now. We're thought of. Mr. and Mrs. Craig. How is she? Well, we've managed to relieve the stress upon her so brain. So it was a success. Let the doctor talk. As I explained before, these type of operations are not an exact science. We really won't know how she's responded until she wakes up. And how long will that take? It's difficult to say. It could be hours, but it could be weeks. Well, you must have some idea. Jimmy, just calm down. No, I need to know what's going on now. I'm sorry, I really can't tell you. We'll just have to wait and see. I should um, leave you guys to it. Liam, thank you. Okay. What's that to our little girl? The headline writers should today be celebrating the achievements of Harchester United, who yesterday reached third spot with a victory over Manchester City. Instead, they're having a field day with Jason Porter. The less than flattering headlines dubbing him Flat Tire Boy were sparked by his controversial exit from the ground during yesterday's game after apparently disagreeing with the decision not to play him. Oh, give me a fright. What are you saying about me? Jason Porter shot to fame when he was invited to play in a I'm wondering why you left. So am I. display, Porter was rewarded with a first-team contract, something that appears to have gone to his head. The club had this to say last night. He thought the final whistle had gone. He really wasn't storming off. Stupid or arrogant, he's not winning the hearts and minds of the fans. So I thought we'd start off on New Street and then maybe move down. Kim? Kim was wondering if we could take the kids later. I've got to help a friend pick a great dress for a party and clothes shopping and the twins not a good combination. Oh. No. That'll be fine, yeah? Oh, I'd love to see them again. You won't be saying that when they start having a tantrum. <laughs> so, um, was there anything else? <laughs> mm. Excuse me, I've got to get ready for the day. See you soon, I hope. What are you being so nice? What do you mean? Oh, come on. See you soon, I hope. We can't spend the rest of our lives hating each other. Kim. Don't be so paranoid. You keep acting guilty, and she'll figure it out. Oh, is that a threat, is it? Do you really think I'm that cheap? You're the one that ran off with the blonde. Last minute winner, knocking on the door of the Champions League spot. It's all about this idiot tire boy. I feel a bit let down, to be honest. Mm. You like that one, yeah? Are you going to jack it up? That is what you call it, no? A jack? For the car? Oh, come on, he's tire boy? No? <laughs> Gaffer's daughter's in a coma, and you're all messing around laughing and joking about a player who sold every single one of you yesterday. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Tell you, she's definitely up to something. Maybe she's just being nice. People are always nice when they feel guilty about something. What's she got to feel guilty about? I'm the guilty one. 
Sorry, why don't you just come clean? I'm hardly going to tell her, am I? She'll walk. Well, if you're not going to tell her, then you've got to find a way to deal with the guilt or it's going to ruin everything. Anyway, focus. Guilty feet ain't got no rhythm. Nah, she's never been that nice, mate. Not even to me. It's just not her style. I just can't. Okay, well, why don't you go and get some sleep? No, I can't. Look, you call me if there's any change, all right? Where are you going? The training ground. I got. There's something I've got to do. What are you doing here? This, Steve. This is embarrassing. How is she, Jimmy? Where's flat tire, boy? All right, who's the next two up? Ready, boys? Ready? Go! Ah, oh, poor lad. Can't even get the ball. <laughs> doing it on purpose. I beg you a pardon. You're kicking the ball straight to him. Oh, is he going to walk? Is he? <laughs> just forget it. Forget what? Come here! You know, I come back to work after spending half the night worrying about my daughter and all I hear about is Mr. Jason Porter and his marching act. Why'd you do it? Well, come on! Well, you got some kind of medical condition that we don't know about. Or maybe Mr. Jason Porter thinks he's too big for this club. Okay. No gaffer. Well, I haven't got time for this. The least you can do is say sorry. Not to me, to the team, to the lads. Sorry, everyone. Shouldn't have walked and it won't happen again. Right, back to work. Come on, let's go back to work, Jason. You know, you've got to grow up, son. Because I did not give you this opportunity just to throw it all away. No, boss. I want my players to be hungry, but when things don't go their way, I want you to take it with good grace. Yes, boss. All right, come on, there's one more thing I need you to do. I would like to apologise to the fans for my actions during the Manchester City game. It was wrong for me to leave the bench. In, in my defence, I can only say to the fans that at least they know how much it means for me to play for my club. It was very wrong to walk. I'm sorry. Come on, Jason, that's it. The club now regards this matter closed. Do you think the fans will accept that? I mean, why did you walk? Why do you do it, Jason? That's all it says, yeah. You mean you didn't write? You're taking this seriously. You think the fans are stupid, Jason? You don't know nothing. None of you. So just, just get stuffed, yeah? It's none of your business anyway. <laughs> that last comment was off the record. Thank you. Just, just get stuffed, yeah? It's none of your business anyway. I didn't know what else to say. I read the statement. Amy was supposed to help me. Oi! Don't you dare blame her! You had a fairy tale right in the palm of your hand and you messed it up. Now get out! You're fired. Gaffer! Jimmy, come on, that's a bit harsh. You no longer work here. Now don't make me call security. Leave. Jason! You just got me sacked. Amy. Danny, Jason's been fired. Everyone makes mistakes. He didn't even get a warning. <sighs> Look, if Jimmy's made up his mind, then there's nothing you can do, is there? He wants me to release this statement. 
I just feel like I'm stabbing him in the back. Look, it's just your job. Don't take it personally. But I'm the one that has to put it out there. You'll be fine. <clears throat> Who's that? It's Kim. I've got to go. Okay. Bye. So where are the kids? A friend's looking after them for a few hours. What? But you said you were bringing them over. Disappointed it's just me? Yeah. No. no. It's nice to see you. But that doesn't matter. So why are you here? There's nothing wrong with what we did. And there's nothing wrong with it happening again. Of course there is. You're just saying that because you think it's the proper thing to do. Let's face it, Danny. It happened once. It will happen again. That won't. You can pretend all you want that we didn't sleep together. But you can't tell me it didn't mean anything to you. Tell me it didn't mean anything to you. talk about is there? Sure. Couldn't make up your mind. <laughs> what I've got here, Turner, is the finest bottle of red and the finest bottle of white this place has got to offer. So I think they call you footballers Philistines. The problem is, I've only got one glass. So we can't enjoy them both at the same time. So on your mind. Things have changed. Fulham's still interested. I can get you five G's a week on top of what you earn here. <laughs> Coleman loves your permanent fixture in the side. Make it happen. Still only got one glass. Now I guess it's time to decide which one you want to drink. Still here? Yeah. I'm not sure we're going with the best formation here. You're right to stay with 451. I need the scouting report, Steve. Jimmy, they're here, and so are last week's. We've been for loads of times. Yeah, well, I want to go over them again, Steve. <sighs> Sorry, mate. Jimmy, you've got the right formation. Everything's under control. Yeah. Come on, we need to get some rest. Come on. What's happened? Nothing. I just need a change of clothes. So she's still asleep? There's no change. She's just asleep. Well, how much longer is it going to take? That's the point! No one knows. I'm going to get changed and go back. He said I had a fairy tale, like it was a good thing. What's your point, Jace? 
The point is, Dino, fairy tales don't always have an happy ending, do they? Oi, so I boy. Not today, lads. We weren't talking to you. Then you're bigger than the dragons. Oh, right, look, he doesn't think he's bigger than the club. Isn't that right, Chase? Whatever, mate. Okay, oh, let's leave it. Let's, let's just leave it. We're leaving. Come on. Come on. At last. Where have you been? What happened? We had a bit of trouble with some lads. Are you okay? What did they want? They wanted to knock me out for this in the club. And it's not even my club anymore. <laughs> so there you go. The fairy tale had a bad ending. <laughs> oh, never mind. We'll all go and sign on tomorrow, shall we? You think it's funny, do you? You had everything I ever dreamed of and you threw it away! Oh. Oh. Jason, please. You've got to let me in. Into what? Your head. Trust me, you don't want to go there. I know you didn't walk off that pitch because you're too big for your boots. I know you didn't. Everything good always goes bad. Every time. No, we haven't. We will. How can you say that? Because it always happens to me. Always has done. I get close to something and it's taken away. And I can't do it no more. I can't let it happen again. So I have to go first. So that's why you walked off the pitch? It meant so much to me. And I waited so long. And I knew it was going to get taken away from me again and I couldn't let it happen. I couldn't. If mum hadn't chucked me out, things might have been different. I might not have done the stupid things that I did. Might have even kept me placed at Archester's youth team. That's what I was thinking when I saw that board go up and I knew it weren't my number. I knew I was going to cry. I know it's stupid, but with all them cameras there and everyone in my face, I... so I just ran. You should tell Jimmy. I'll understand. He won't. But he might give you a job back. You can't tell him. No way. What about your career, Jace? I'll go somewhere else, get a trial somewhere. People know who I am now. But you can't tell him. Seriously. Okay. Okay. I won't. I promise. Amy. Mm. Oh. Baby, I need to talk to you about something. Now? I've spoken to Tony Franks about getting me out of Harchester. What? He's been speaking to Fulham. Apparently Chrissy Coleman's a fan of mine. You're leaving? I kind of hope we were leaving. My job? I can't... I'd have to be in at least another year before I could leave. But you hate your job. I've had one bad day. Look, I just can't be around here anymore. 
Like, since Jimmy Craig's turned up, every day feels like a fight and I can't be bothered with it. But I'm a good player. And if he can't see that, well, other people can. Has this got something to do with Kim? Well, she's not making life any easier. Look, if you don't want to come, then I don't want to go. Simple as that. So it's up to you, babe. Look, I don't want to move. It's just going to make you miserable. But just promise me you'll think about it. to give me a hard time about firing your boyfriend. Look, I'm not here to make a scene. I'm not here to beg. I just... There's something you need to know about Jason. I think it's a bit too late for that, Katie. Please. Oh, I don't fancy a fry up, baby. No, thanks. Excuse me. Where are you going? Shops. I'll see you later. You work fast. Sorry. Well, less than 24 hours out of the game, you're already on the fry-ups. Yeah. Unemployment's got its advantages. <laughs> yeah. Come on, mate. Let's get down the club. I was sacked. That was yesterday. And I didn't treat you very well. And I'm sorry for that. I didn't understand, Jason. Okay, he spoke to you. I don't believe it. Things that happened in the past, they can stay there if you let them. Or you can keep forcing them back into the present. I should promise you wouldn't say nothing, ma'am. I didn't go after Katie and shout her for breaking a promise. Or come back to the club. Leave it in the past, son. Or force it back to the present. It's your choice. Wait. Come on. When were you going to tell me, Danny? Kim, do you know what time it is? I've had journalists calling me up, asking for a quote about your move to Fulham. Were you just going to run away from me and the kids? That's not how it was. No? Well, what was it then? You can't handle the fact that you made a mistake burying your head in the sand. Can you get forced down Amy's in? No, I don't care. Look, we should have never have done what we did. That wasn't the mistake, Danny. She's a mistake. Please. Please what? Do I owe you something? I thought you said you weren't going to say anything. I wasn't. But seeing as you're so convinced I'm lying, maybe I will. Get off me! I'll tell her one way or another. What's going on? Was that Kim? Danny, what is going on? Please talk to me. She's really angry. She knows about Fulham. Tony Franks has probably told everyone with ears about it. It's just a long way for the kids. That's not really why she's angry, is it? She's angry. 
Lucas. She's angry because two nights ago we slept together. It was a stupid mistake. <laughs> and I had a few drinks. I wanted to grow old with you. We still can. That's why I want to move. Get away from her. No. Amy. Look, I told you. It's got to mean something, Amy. I could have lied. Struggling Charlton Athletic are the Premiership visitors today to the Dragon's Lair to take on high-flying Harchester United. Got your call. What do you want? I wanted to wish you good luck for today. Is that it? Don't be like that. You promised you wouldn't tell nobody. Jimmy had to understand why you walked away. He didn't have to know nothing. And then what? You would have lost the thing that's most important to you. I knew you would be upset and... I knew I'd risk losing you if I told Jimmy, but I had no choice. I couldn't let you throw it all away. I'm sorry. I love you. Amy. I'm busy. Unless it's about club matters. Please, it was a stupid mistake. Oh, and is that what you told Kim when you cheated on her? No. Look, I love you. Please, come with me to London. Let's start again. And am I supposed to think you're ever going to change? Hmm. Danny, you cheat on people who love you. I can't trust you anymore. Do you understand that? Are you alright, Danny? Just get me out of here, yeah? I don't care where. Just get me out of here now. Okay. Big surprise that Jason Porter is a sub today after storming away from the bench last week against Manchester City. All right, Jace. A magnificent Premiership season so far for Harchester and massive favourites here today against Charlton Athletic. this time, Jace! Jimmy Craig and Steve Kramer may already be thinking about a possible European place if this wonderful run of Harchester's continues. And this is Damien Evans. Harchester continuing with Diouf here in possession for Mackay in midfield. Good running off the ball here from Tyson. Oh, and Traore in with the challenge. Darren Tyson really felt the force there of Jimmy Traore. Already shaking his head, the Harchester striker. And I'm not sure he's going to be able to continue. No, he's coming off. Could this be a Premiership debut for Jason Porter? Jason. Coming soon on Dream Team. I'm sorry, boss. We were uh, we had a late dinner. You sacks. Why don't you work for me? I need assistance. Bit of muscle, big man, eh? I mean, what's the problem? Beats changing tyres. Yeah. <laughs>
You live in Archester. The transfer window is open, so... So you are leaving? He's probably homesick. We just need to give him a really good reason to stay. Nice to meet you, Miguel. Do you think she's going to work? Silver always gets her man. It starts off with a hunt for the knock list, and then things get very complicated for Tom Cruise next. Expect the unexpected in our movie Mission Impossible. If that sounds too intense, it's happy hour for Dom Jolly over on Sky 3 next. He's hitting the moonshine on a trip to the deep side. He's getting a taste of the local customs.